نحمده ونستهديه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونصلي ونسلم ونبارك على أفضل الخلق أجمعين سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وعلى صحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم اجعلنا منهم واجمعنا معهم يا أرحم الراحمين آمين أما بعد Today's khutbah is related to a very important matter that we live right now. And we want to start by a small introduction, very important one. That is part of Sunan Allah fil Kaun, the way Allah Azza wa Jal is running the universe with His wisdom and hikmah. Allah has created all creatures and has chosen for a reason that He knows a certain areas on earth and named it as holy places such as Masajid and certain cities such as the Mecca, al Medina, Masjid Al-Aqsa and in those areas, those places, Allah gave them a privilege over other places a certain blessings where your prayers there are multiple, multiple by 100,000, 1,500 prayers and etc. Allah has also chosen from His creation, from people, the messengers and prophets and have supported them with the wisdom and the knowledge to become the messengers of Allah to convey Risalat al-Sama the message that Allah wants us to know, to learn, to apply, so we will be all saved. So it's a choice of places for and made it sacred, choice of people, and also choice of time. Allah has chosen certain times and gave it a great matters, a great wisdom, a great blessings. It's a season. We all know that a couple of months ago, we done Ramadan. We left Ramadan behind, missing Ramadan. We hope the whole year was Ramadan. And hoping and wishing and making dua that we will attend and be alive when the other one day, uh, Ramadan 2021 will come. Nowadays, it's a big season of Anad Salihat, good deeds which are the first 10 days of Dil Hijjah, which is the season of Hajj. So we need to pay attention because some of us might not be here next year to enjoy the blessings of the first 10 of Dil Hijjah. And we always experience such a thing. May Allah make us live for a lot of you. 10th of the Hijjah to come, inshaAllah. Ameen. Qala Allah Azza wa Jal wal fajri wa layalin ashr. And we all know this is a surah in Jizu Amma. The ulama, Mufassirun said, layalin ashr here refers to the 10 days of the Hijjah. When Allah Azza wa Jal chooses one of his creation, whether it's a time, it's a place, and he made an oath to Aqsama bil Fajri wa Aqsama bil Layali Ash. That is for a reason to give it a, a great attention to hope, to make you listen and know how important al maqsumu bihi, the thing that Allah used to be make it made an oath to for us. So that's one of the evidence from the Quran that these days we live today is very, very, very important. Another also ayat that also refers to these days, So Allah is encouraging us to do a lot of dhikr 
in those days and those ayyam al-ma'lumat al mufassirun said it refers to the first 10 days of the hajjah a hadith a very famous hadith afdalu ayyam al-dunya al-ayyam al-ashr aw kama qala sallallahu alayhi wasallam the best days of dunya what more straightforward statement do we want the best days in the dunya are the days of al-ashr these days. There's a lot of reasons ulama have stated why these days are important. But even if we did not know the reasons, we have to just attach to the, the evidence we have in the Quran and Sunnah. But to make our Iman boost better, to have the best of feelings and the best of deeds, it's okay and it's good to know and, and hunt the treasures of these days. The best day of the whole year is Yom Arafah. And Yom Arafah falls in those 10 days of the Hijjah. And Yom Arafah is called the Hajj al-Akbar. Yom Arafah is the big Hajj. It's the day, the, the core day of the Hajj, where people gather together at Arafah mountain and they pray to Allah, cry and ask and put all the Al-Ahmal, the things that the weight of dunya and humum, they put it between the hands of Allah Azza wa Jal, and it resembles Yawm Al-Hashr. Some ulama said, do you want to feel like Yawm Al-Qiyamah? Attend Yawm Arafah and look at people come from all over the world wearing the same clothes, crying for the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. And then Allah will, will always, before the end of Arafah, showers all Muslims and Mu'mins with His mercy and forgiveness. May Allah make us among them, inshaAllah. So that's a day within these 10 days. Another day, another hadith that says, the best day, one of the best days of Allah is the day where we sacrifice in the name of Allah Azza wa and that brings back the Sunnah of Sayyidina Ibrahim And that tells us a lot that we are, that the message of Islam is the message of all prophets from Adam السلام, till the last day of dunya. Till the last prophet Muhammad and the message stays, the risala stays until Yawm al Qiyamah. So, Wahdat, Wahdat al Iman wal Islam bayn al Anbiya. That's why we celebrate and we tell. The non Muslims that we celebrate Sayyidina Ibrahim, السلام, Sayyidina Ismail, السلام, Sayyidina from Adam, all the Rusul for us are Sawasia. Scholars said these days combine best of worship rituals Al Hajj, of course, Salah, Al Siyam. It is being narrated that Muhammad had made Siyam the whole nine, nine days and then including Arafah. So if we can do that, we have to, we should. It's Siyam, so we feel like in Ramadan. And another thing is Sadaqah. The best days, if you're looking for a season where your actions and your deeds are multiplied, multiplied, unlimited multiplication. This is the season of ta'at. So please, sadaqah. That's also, that's why they say, ijtima'un mahatul ibadah, hajjul wa siyamul wa salatul wa sadaqah. Qiyam layl, all the good deeds. It's a season of ta'at, a season of hasanat. A very important hadith from Rasulullah sallam, and this hadith is really important to know, learn, and teach it to our kids related to these days. ما من أيام العمل الصالح فيهن أحب إلى الله من هذه العشر أو الأيام العشر. There is no days. Now, subhanallah, when, when any uh, sentence starts by نفي ثم إثبات by first taking out everything else to bring your focus on the core point, on the message. There is, there is nothing better than the amal salihah. The, the best time to do amal salihah 
is nothing ex as good as doing it nowadays in those 10. And today we're in the third day of those 10. So inshallah, we ha still have time and may Allah make us reach the Eid inshallah with the best of these and accept it and, and our niyyah to be fi sabilillah. Even, even those, those days are even better than al jihad fi sabilillah, except if someone leaves his home and he loses everything fi sabilillah, including his own life, his money, his family, that could be a little bit better. But the rest, this, the anal saliha, the good deeds in those days are even better than al jihad fi sabilillah. And we all know the status of al jihad fi sabilillah in Islam. So I just went through those evidences, ahadith and ayat, without too much explanation because they explain themselves. But what about us practically? Especially I see, mashallah, a lot of young generation with us. We want today to go home with a homework, with a program. What is a day in the in Ashrad al Hinja looks like, must look, look like? from the time I wake up to the time I sleep. I am sure all of us can construct a beautiful day fi ta'atillah, but it's good to review wa dhakir inna dhikra tanfa'alim. First of all, before you sleep and after you wake up, make sure your tongue will keep on doing dhikr that will require you nothing before it. You don't have to make wudu, you don't have to wear some certain clothes, you don't have to be in a certain position. Automatic. Especially at takbir, wat tahleel, wat tahmeel, wal istighfar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Astaghfirullah al Azim min kulli dalb al Azim. Keep your tongue wet, busy with dhikr. And it's not shouldn't be only the tongue, dear brothers and sisters. The tongue with hudur al aql wal qalb. You have to know that you're doing dhikr for whom? About whom? Allah Azza wa Jal. So some people they do dhikr and they're busy with their mobile phone. They do dhikr and they're talking to their friends. They, they I mean busy watching something on no. It is this is an irrespectful kind of dhikr. The dhikr, it has to have hudur lil qalbi wa tarkiz bil aql wal jina. You have to know what you're talking about. Okay, so that has to go through the day. Salatul Jama'ah. If you are close to a masjid and you can, do the five times, the best. Four times, three times, minimum. Try to make one or two times a day in the masjid. Joining the Jama'ah. That's, that's feeling the importance of the masjid in your life and your children's life. Reading Quran. We miss Quran in Ramadan. We used to do a lot. Put this back, this back. Allah give you the season to make you, make it part of your daily program and habit to do the ta'at that some days you do, you know, you get a little bit lazy with. Al-Quran, Al-Quran, Al-Quran. The best dhikr, the best knowledge, the best guidance you can do in your life. Make it more. These days, Jazakumullah khair. If you see a box of donation, this is a message that Allah has chosen you to put this box on your way out from the masjid for a reason. Other people are getting from, you know, didn't come today. This opportunity was not for them. So it's a, don't look at it as a bother. Oh my God, now my brothers will ask me for, for sadaqah again. You know, let me try to move fast. Shaitan will try his best to take you away from the opportunity of sadaqah, especially these days. You conquer shaitan, you conquer your nafs, and give fi sabirillah even one dollar, especially these days. There is a lot. The time, subhanAllah, I only have a few minutes left. All the good deeds. And let me jump to one, one very important one. If you have any trouble with your wife or children or relative, brother, sister, cousin, neighbor, you know, Muslim, anywhere in the world, 
please, please, translate your ibadah to akhlaq. If you, the, the, the ibadah is not only the ritual. It doesn't mean to just do salah, siyam, hajj, you're fine. Ya'budun fi al-ma'na al-shamil, the full meaning of ibadah is the full submission to Allah Azza wa Jal in everything in your life. He is your boss in everything in your life. He is, he comes first before anything in your life. And Allah loves, and as Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith, the closest to me, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, be the one who has the best of manners, the best of akhlaq, the best of character. So today, learn it, teach it to others, practice it, and make it become part of your life. Always do ihsan, always forgive, always connect with those you did not connect for a long time. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum faya fawzal mustaghfirin. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما آمين Unity As Muslims we have to be united We have to look after one another We have to help one another And these days are a good example of unity Even if you did not do Hajj Some of you went to Hajj now we can see Hajj as if we are there. It is Ramz al Wahda. It's a, a, an, an icon where you can see Muslims from all around the world black, white, red, tall, young, old, rich, poor, of a status, educated, not educated. They're all facing one tijah, uh, Kaaba, uh, wearing the same uh, clothes, having nothing of dunya over them going for the same purpose, calling for the same God, doing the same exact act of worship, that tells us a lot. If we leave Al-Ashara Al-Hijjah without understanding Qimat Al-Wahda, Qimat Al-Takaduf, the, 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 the value of unity, honestly, we, we did not learn anything. So we, do, we learn this in everything we do, in Salah, Wahda. In Siyam, we fast together. In Sadaqah, we, we look after each other. In Zakah, in everything we do. But most of the, the best example that can, no one can just not learn from it is Al-Hajj. And we are in the mawsim, in the, in the season of Hajj. So please, brothers and sisters, the unity starts in the family. You, your wife, and your children need to be, you know, your hearts are connected to one another. You have similar goals. You, you, you get together to pray for Allah Azza wa Jal, as they say in English, family prays together, stays together. So we say, of course, you know, we, this, we said it many times before, do give time for your children and your family to pray together sunnah. If you didn't pray for here at home, lead them, make dua together, let them say ameen. One of the things that in the last Ramadan I have heard from many people, that yes, we miss praying taraweeh in the masjid, but for those who did their taraweeh fully at home, it had a special taste as well. Wallahi, it did affect a lot. I know children are begging their dads, like, when is next Ramadan coming so we can pray taraweeh together and make dua together? Allahumma rahmi lana wa rahmi. Wahdina wa rahmi. Allahumma rahmi fawq al-ard. Warhamna tahta al-ard. Warhamna yawm al-ard. Allahumma khfir lana al-mubana. Wa israfana fi amrina. اللهم لا تقبلنا إليك إلا وأنت راض عنا اللهم اغفر لنا ما علمنا وما لم نعلم وما أنت أعلم به منا وأقم الصلاة يا